sort of popularity power. It's like some cool kid table fucking wait, who has popularity power against her? That's weird. Power over this fucking community, which is bullshit. Wait. Glamour, don't you and your friends try to cancel people and tell them they can't talk about true crime? Wouldn't that be power? And that mob is going to go after somebody simply Uh, because they are kind and they don't want to engage in a back and forth with people. I don't know what mob he's talking about. I know they soft. Everyone, not the mob, but the person who he's speaking on Deets is soft. I know they soft as hell. Yeah, little old me. Little old me. No, I'm not doing nothing. Man. And the majority of those people in that one particular community thrive on this. This behavior is common in that particular part of the community. It's extremely, extremely common. And nothing is said to control it. Nothing is said to to try to appease it in some way. And what really makes me so fucking mad, because people, when you have a creator who comes along and they are kind to everyone, they welcome the panel to everyone. And because she doesn't have, she doesn't, she, just because she seems timid in, in her demeanor. Okay. So that was a lie. She wasn't welcoming to me. And then she also banned me after she muted me. So, you know, that's a lie. That's a, a lie. They didn't seem too timid when it came to protecting you. So that's a lie. You're lying in front of them. You're lying for your friend because you want someone else to protect you. You're going to assume that she is and treat her like she should be timid. The way her demeanor kind of comes off. But she doesn't do that. She says, well, wait a minute. No, you're not going to tell me who I can have on my panel, who I can talk to. Everyone here is welcome. If you can't handle that, then you have a problem. And then what happens? Those people go off in their little corner and their loud ass platform. And then they sit there and stir up all this manipulative shit. And don't think I didn't fucking hear it because I did. <laughs> what is he talking? I don't even, yo, know, fam. He's not even describing anything. He's not explaining anything to fans. He's just crying. Little Miss, uh, you know, I, I'm just, uh, I'm just gonna make the personal choice. I'm just, it's just my, it's my truth, and it's my personal choice that I'm not going to join on Deets' panel anymore. I'm just not gonna do it anymore. Be- wait, that's all she said. Wait, wait, wait. So the glare is over here having a tantrum because someone, one person, said, "I'm not gonna go on Deets' panel anymore." And now he's sitting here. She quitting YouTube and he's sitting here crying because one person said they didn't want to go on her panel. I ain't had enough of this, boy. I ain't gonna waste my damn time. I'm playing a commercial. Hold up, hold up. I had to stop this real quick just to let y'all know that I need you to hit the like button. Oh, yeah. And if you're not subscribed, Subscribe. Just check. Just now. Just now. Just check. YouTube be unsubscribing people or whatnot. Make sure that you sub and drop some comments. Put Fang in the comment sections. Let me know that you rock with me. Also, don't forget to check me out on Patreon. Helps me keep going. You never know, man. I might get canceled. Might come on here. I might be gone tomorrow. Never know. Check me out on Patreon to find exclusive content. You also get early access to a bunch of stuff as well. All right, back to the video with your anxious ass. What you know? Where where you going to that you got to rush? Play the video. You said it's like a high school drama. <laughs> I didn't want to play another clip, but just because you said that, man, I got to add this. I got it. Yes, you, you are right. This is like a high school drama. I would say it's Degrassi. I would say it's 100% Degrassi, man. Wait, is my Degrassi intro not here anymore? 
Oh, wow, it's not. And I don't feel like loading it up right now. Yeah, it'll take two seconds to load it. Why not? Let me load my Degrassi intro. Just because I like doing my Degrassi intro. Uh, yeah. There you go. It's going to take like 10, no, actually less than 10 seconds. About like five. Let's play that Degrassi intro. Whatever it takes, oh yeah, you know we gonna make it through. There's a whole lot of nastiness going down on YouTube. Now I got my eye on you. Day after day, ah! Yeah, straight high school drama time. Because it's my personal, it's my decision because I feel it's, she was very disrespectful to me and blah, 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 blah. Shut the fuck up. All she did was say simply, you're not going to pull this shit here. This is crazy. So just because someone said, I'm not going to go to their channel anymore. He's acting all hostile. He's throwing a tantrum. He's cursing them out. So we live in a day and age. This is how much he's like protecting her. And this is how sheltered anyone who is on his side of any kind of drama or beef is. You can't even say that you're not going to their channel anymore. I'm not hearing this person doxed anyone. I'm not hearing that this person attacked anyone. All this person said was, I'm just not going over to their channel anymore. Oh, you shut the fuck up. How dare you disrespect my queen? How dare you disrespect my queen? That's my boo boo. Like, nigga, you <laughs> relax, bro. Like, you're wilding. Because I saw what you did. You came into my chat and you attacked this person. And then he defended himself. And because nobody shifted and took a side, because you, that's what you figure, figured you could bully somebody into doing, then the whole mean girl shit starts. And then this mob goes after this person. And now this person, and this is what's fucked up, people. Now this person is, now they're not going to share true crime cases with you. When this community is in dire need, dire need of creators with integrity covering these cases. And now she'll say, no, you didn't run me off, blah, blah, blah. But I mean, I know that that's her choice. I realize that. But the fact is, is it wouldn't have happened if all you motherfuckers weren't fucking mob shitheads. Simple. So yes, you ran her off. And you cheated me. And the rest of this community, who can actually coexist with the drama community just fine, but you cheated us out of good content. Content, you... Oh my gosh, you sound like such a bitch. Man, I'm trying to like just listen to this, give my criticism. But everything he's saying makes no sense. This person's a grown woman, bro. They're an adult. They can choose if they want to create content or not. It's not on anyone else but them. You sound crazy. If because of you, then we won't have this amazing content that I love to listen to when I oil you myself up with say Robbie. What's wrong with you? Like, no one cares whether she makes content, whether she doesn't. It's on her. I feel like she's just doing this for attention now at this point. She wants people to baby her. And now you over here leading the revolt to baby her. We won't get the amazing content. Really? Word, it was amazing. <laughs> it, it, it was amazing content. Amazing. Word, son. Shut your ass up. Yeah, they like lying. Good content. There wasn't no good content. They lying. 
good cons that they barely edit, if they edit at all. Like, come on, bro. Good content. There ain't no damn good content. 6 2, what does that mouth do? Other than bitch. Yeah, right. This is crazy. You guys, it was because of you. We don't get the amazing, life changing Nobel Peace Prize winning content. We don't get it. Her content's so good it can resurrect people from the afterlife. Her content is so amazing. It can turn blind people <laughs> into having the ability to see. Her content made me grow my hair. Her content changes lives. We need it. We desperately need it. I'm going to get a tattoo that says how good the content is. My favorite video, top one through 50. Correction. Top live stream because she ain't she ain't, she ain't editing enough to do videos. Who knows what you could have cheated everyone out of? You could have oh cheated God. a family. I was what? I almost just walked off and went to sleep, bro. I swear. I almost just got up without even turning it off. I was just gonna be like, okay. Clearly I went to sleep and I'm dreaming right now. There's no way you just you <laughs> You cheated a family. <laughs> you cheated your family when you decided to play rock'em, sock'em, bop'ems with your child and blackmail your, your ex. Out of coverage that could actually contribute family. to finding a missing person. But you don't think about that. The reason why you don't think about that is because you don't give a fuck. What you give a fuck about is the drama. What you give a fuck about is shit stirring. You don't give a fuck about a, per a missing person being found. What you give a fuck about is the drama surrounding that missing person. Who's this? Who's saying this? Who's doing that? What did this person do to do this? It's not your place to fucking solve a goddamn case. Shut the fuck up. Know your place. Because you're not even trying to solve the case. You're just trying to find drama. But you cheated this community out of good coverage that this community really needs. You know how rare it is to have somebody who's as, as fact-driven as Deets on the Streets is while being open to every part of this community and not taking any sides. And then you're going to bully her into t taking a side. And because she just won't let that happen, she's going to quit. You all fucking suck. Every one of you motherfucking manipulative pieces of shit. You suck. And I know I'm not just speaking for myself. I know I'm not just speaking for myself. Yeah, you definitely suck. Um, but let me ask Glare fans a question. Y'all don't y'all don't ever get tired of these drunk streams with him yelling at y'all like that? Y'all love it? Okay. Okay. I just want to make sure. I just want to make sure. Don't never get tired of drunk streams? Okay. Um <laughs> damn. There was so many things he just said right now that made no damn sense. So many things. A plethora. A plethora. Let's start with why are you trying to protect her like she is a toddler? Right? You mean the greatest content that ever existed in the history of YouTube. We need it. No, we no, we don't. We don't need it. She's not fact driven, also. Because when I was telling her facts, she literally just slid it to the side. She didn't care about it. She's not fair. She's not unbiased. Also, you can't go crazy and yell at the fans and supporters for being into drama when you admit it that she covers drama herself, which means that by default, she cares about it. So you would be a hypocrite. 
And mind you, all of this is because a grown ass adult is pump faking that they don't want to create content anymore. Who cares? Bye. See you later. Sarana. Deuces. A bunch of other variations of saying goodbye. Like, I don't care. I don't. Why? Like, what? Who gives a damn, bro? Stay, go. Who cares? Like, damn, there's a bunch of grown adults. You robbed us of the good content. No, we didn't. Fam, trust me, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Like, she is not putting out no top of the line, bro. Like, we, we got to stop that. We got to stop that, fam. Like, you just admitted that you like to go to her panel and bring drama. Which means she was about that drama and you was okay with it as long as it was on your side. These people are trash, bro. I swear, just straight garbage panel kids. So, dude, if I go on a fucking panel on Laura's channel and we agree, something is fucked up. Like, something is fucked up. Something is seriously wrong. Mm, no. Y'all both crazy. <laughs> so you're bound to agree eventually. I mean and then there's only like one or two people who fucking have the balls to fucking even speak up and say when it's not oh, right. Shut show ass up. What the fuck is that? These people who claim to be fucking victims advocates. I mean, it's insane what you people fucking do. Everybody's going to give fucking bash the tragedy pimps a hard time. Why? Because she went down to fuck. She went down with an agenda with a fucking agenda that I would never agree with. But she went down there with an agenda. And she just happened to find the humanity in someone. That she didn't expect to find the humanity in. Now, does that change my opinion of Bullhorn Betty? No, not at all. But I'm definitely not going to scrutinize Bash the Tragedy Pimps for having a different perspective because that's Bash the Tragedy Pimps' absolute fucking right to feel however the fuck she wants to feel about whoever the fuck she interacts with. She has every right to change her mind about whoever the fuck she chooses to interact with. She didn't do anything wrong. She's not going soft and she's not taking sides. She just had the fucking, the audacity to sit there and tell you people. Shut up. I wish she had this same type of logic when it came to Hills, right? Remember when he was like leading the charge with burnt toast, which I don't know why anybody takes as a valid source. Oh, guys, I'm going to be extremely disrespectful to this for this part. People keep telling me that she's putting out warnings. You better leave me alone, beast boy, or else. Bitch, what you gonna do? <laughs> what you what you gonna do, bitch? <laughs> you already done tried to slander me, you and your cornwall friends. What, what the fuck are you gonna do? What, what are you gonna do? I'm shaking in my boots. What are you gonna say? I'm racist, bitch. That's your go-to move, right? Go ahead, point your finger and, and try to accuse me of being racist. The, you accuse the black person of being racist, All right? Whatever. What the fuck even are you? All I know is that you a lying, filthy. Should not have any kind of credentials like loser ass, thirsty, cancer culture, fucking loser ass bitch. Like, that's all I know you as. I don't care what race you are. Stop trying to use your race to cancel and destroy people's careers. You're a loser, fucking cornball. You got the glare back in you and you think that's a valid defense? Your whole team's in shambles. Fucking idiots. I had to say that, and I don't care what anybody says. I think Burnt Toast is a fucking loser. I think Burnt Toast is a waste of YouTube space. <laughs> She's occupying space that could be put to someone else that knows what the fuck they're doing, other than this cornball loser. Same thing for uh, Glare and anyone associated with him. Annie from Tender Life. 
They all can eat a bag of dicks as far as I'm concerned. It's Garfield season, nigga. <laughs> I don't care. Oh, okay, y'all don't like me? Cool. Join the long line. Join the long line. <laughs> <laughs> He's mad. <laughs> not giving me a chance. <laughs> I can't really control what he says. Let me see what you guys are saying in chat. Yeah, man, I'm sick of that bull crap. You guys are losers. <laughs> like, man, I don't know why people be acting like they so afraid of them. For what? You said Boren Toza just did her 764 live stream about Betty. Yeah, that's crazy. Hey, I expected something and it didn't that's happen that way. Too. I actually saw a little humanity in this person. And then you people couldn't fucking handle it. And then you want to say, oh, well, he's taking Betty's side on the lawsuit. What the fuck are you talking about? It's the stupidest shit I've ever heard. That's the dumbest fucking logic I've ever fucking heard. It's insane. And you people don't even hear how insane you sound. Like, dude, it would be, it, I, I, would, I, I wouldn't have the same opinion of Bash the Tragedy Pimps if she just came back and lied and made a bunch of shit up to fucking further her narrative on Bullhorn Betty. You know how much you balls know that took? First of all, shut, shut, the, shut your simple jackass up. This nigga just told someone a lie. All right, my bad. <laughs> that just got, it, it distracted me. I was about to say something else. And then he totally distracted me by telling someone to lie. Like, that's crazy. Uh, but of course, his fans ain't even gonna realize that. <laughs> Yo, his fans ain't gonna realize that. BX, you totally cracked me up. You're awesome. Well, thank you. I appreciate the support. Thank you. Appreciate the kind words. This dude just told somebody to lie. That's wow. To come back to this community, this community full of you fucking lynch bob fucking lynch mob fucking pitchfork wow. motherfuckers. To come back here and, and tell... Wow. That's where he went with it. That's uh, where he went with it. Tell you, hey, I, I I didn't expect to see what I got, what I saw and experience what I experienced. I didn't expect it at all. I don't care you know how much balls problem. that took? You know how much integrity that takes? But you motherfuckers don't know nothing about that. You bunch of sorry fucks. You don't know anything about that. Something as simple as, holy shit, man, you know, she, she, okay. She, she, she was honest. And she said something that maybe everybody doesn't want to hear. Hell, I wouldn't want to hear it. Uh, but I'm not going to fucking trash her for it. I'm going to go, well... Nigga, if, if you didn't want to hear it, you would call them all types of names. Go on your drunk panel with your drunk friend, Morbid. Start saying a bunch of disgusting things. Right, get out of here with that, fam. Cap. I call Cap. These dudes are frauds. And also, you keep telling people that you want to box me in a YouTube boxing match. I accepted months ago. Where is the paperwork, bitch? I'm telling you, I told you he was going to do this. I told you he was just talking. He's just jibber jabbing, running that mouth. Give me that check. Give me that check. And we could do it like Jake, Paul, and whoever, Nate Diaz, man. What's up? I'm not fighting for freedom. But. He's all talk. He's all talk. The dude just want to throw words out. Uh, uh, okay, shit. Of course, just like anybody else, I'm going to be like, whoa, I wonder what the fuck happened there. You know, just like anybody else, because we're all on here for entertainment. Thank you. So. Yes, so he needs to be. But great. if something would have happened, I would have definitely spoke up and been like, dude. She should have never fucking even went down there. Oh, yeah. He's just like Frank. This dude is Frank from Shameless. That's perfect. It matches him exactly to a T. But you better perfect. believe that I was on the edge of my seat. On the edges. You know? 
I mean, I didn't even know that was going on yet until I was on Deeds' panel yesterday. But I'm saying, like, if I would have known about that, I would have been on the edge of my seat going, what, okay, what the fuck, what happened here? Expecting Betty to be a complete and total asshole. Expecting it. Okay. But you know what? There are some of us that actually hope to be wrong sometimes. Man, yeah, this is this sounds so fake. Does anyone believe a single word that the glare is saying right now? Does anyone? This guy sound crazy. I would love to see you. Yeah, like he keeps challenging me to this YouTube boxing match. I think that he thought that I was gonna say no. And I said yes immediately. I just said I wasn't gonna do it for free. But of course, he put it in Morbid's hands. I'm talking about the same guy that just ran like a little biatch. And changed his profile picture and YouTube name just now to avoid stuff and deleted everything from his channel except for his old, I guess, comedy commentary videos. Come on, bro. These dudes are goofballs. These are goofballs. You can't take anything that they say seriously. I hope JLR is is is, is like I, I the shit that I was doing with Betty and MGL. That was some bullshit. That's not me anymore. And if he fucking chooses to do that, and if he moves on and does good content, and it's fucking somehow, you know, it, it, it's 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 not nefarious, then I'm going to give him the credit for it. Despite the fact that yes, sir, personally, uh, I want to wring his fucking neck for docs of my family. But Man, shut your punk ass up. Like, why you always got to try to threaten somebody? You not. You definitely not doing nothing. That, that's for one. Also, you hang out with doxers. You dox people. So you, you're not trying to do none of that. Like, cut it out. Cut it out, fam. Your best friend's a doxer. He doxes his own kids. And then ran away and changed his name. Oh. Kind of like how he did now. He's now at over hundred K, so stairs jealous. Who? I don't even know who y'all talking about. I don't even know who y'all talking about. That's at hundred K. Who uh who's the glitter hating on recently? The harsh dude, the one with the accent. If he had yeah, Glitter definitely would be upset at that. He definitely would not doubt be upset at that. And nah, uh, he's not at hundred K. You're talking about somebody else. Either way. Oh, man, I wouldn't have even known that. <laughs> I definitely ain't watching JLR. I, I will never watch his content. But that's got nothing to do with YouTube. That's got nothing to do with what he's doing as far as, as far as what we care about as far as victims go. That's got nothing to do with nothing. If he's not endangering victims and he's bringing awareness to something that needs awareness and he has the platform to provide that awareness and he's doing it in a, in a tactful way, then I support him, regardless of my personal feelings of wanting to fucking wring his neck. That's called having self-respect. But you that fucking isn't... sorry fuck. No, that's that's not what <laughs> yeah, just did he mean self control? Is that what he meant? That's not, yeah, that's not what. Glare, self respect would be like you having pride or confidence in yourself. Right? Like, you no, know, like dignity and thing, dignity. What you describing is self control. Never mind. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, don't worry about it. Fox. Don't know nothing about that. It's a fan gang all day. <laughs> this dude just over here crying. It's just like I. I, I this dude's <laughs> over here just. It's just like uh, it's just it's just like uh, I can't handle it. <laughs> I can't handle my friend quit. He said, I've heard of that JLR dude. Hey, he's a loser. He said, LOL. I went into Glitter's live a few, for a few minutes and thought I knew what he was talking about. 
been hearing the entire thing now. He has me lost. Yeah. That sound like the glare right there. <laughs> that sound like the glare. Yep. Having everybody lost. <laughs> It, it, it's it, it like what what really bothers me is that it's the majority. That's what's crazy to me. That's what's fucking insane to me is that it snowballs into these fucking like hundreds and hundreds of people that all of a sudden they're supposed to fucking trash Jeets and they're supposed to trash Bash and they're supposed to go by this narrative that. You know, you're either with Queen B or you're against her. Fucking insane. Dude, what the fuck does that say about you when you can't even fucking think for yourself? Glare. You don't say an opinion without fact checking it with Dad Challenge Podcast and Annie from Tender Life. And then that's when she goes, yes, you may, my child. And then you post it. Like, I... I pride myself on having a chat that thinks their own way. If I fuck up and I do some fucked up, stupid bullshit, I'm going to have people in my chat going, Glare, I love you, dude, but <laughs> that was fucked up. You know? Yes. And I love that. I fucking love that. You know why? Because believe it or not, even though I come off arrogant, I'm actually extremely humble and I'm actually extremely self-conscious too. Very self-conscious. I'm arrogant for the sake of comedy. I behave arrogantly because it's, it makes you laugh. What? Why are you? 